Today we're going to go over the content feed manager which is located in the control panel. The content feed manager is going to be the same for the DCP 2000s, the DCP 2K4s and also the show vault. To access the content feed manager GUI, go ahead and double click on it, enter in the prompted password and OK. Now this GUI is responsible for networking servers together. So for example, all of your screens can be networked within each other and also any FTP servers or anything that's uh, FTP protocol. So there's two ways to go about this. One, you can scan for the servers that are currently on your network, or you can go ahead and add the servers manually. For this purpose, I'm just gonna add the server manually. First thing it's gonna ask you for is to name your server. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is screen one, and then my uh, server IP. This is the screen that I'm going to be networking with the current server that I'm working on. Now your username is manager and the password is the password for the manager account. Please do not change this because this is the credentials that are going to be used for the FTP transfer. If you're configuring a DCP 2000 or a show vault, then the remote path that you want to enter in is just a forward slash. What this does is it allows the server to look into the root directory for anything that's ingestible. If this is an FTP site you're going to be networking with, then go ahead and provide the actual path of the folder that you want to share. Then we have some advanced options. One advanced option is authorized play while ingest from this server. What this allows you to do is transfer content from server to server and actually play that content while it's still transferring. So for example, I'm transferring a feature from screen one to screen two. I build a buffer of 15 minutes. Once that buffer is complete, then I can actually play that content on screen two while that content is still transferring from screen one. And then also your key delivery messages, your KDMs, Doremi licenses, show playlists, composition playlists, and any installation packages that can be found. For this purpose, I'm just going to select composition playlist and I'm going to save my changes once I'm done. Once everything is saved, then I'm going to go to menu, Doremi apps, ingest manager, and I'm going to drop down my local storage and go to my screen one. And this is going to search on screen one for anything that's ingestible. Anything that's grayed out currently exists on this server. Anything that's in bold is something that I can ingest. So I'm going to select bad teacher, click ingest, enter in the password. And now I'm ingesting this trailer from screen one to screen two. And that's the overview.